How is it going? I hope everyone is doing well and thank you for tuning in this video. As you can tell by the title below, I'll be discussing the huge breaking news that of course that occurred on tonight's episode of Monday Night Raw regarding the Raw Women's Champion Becky Lynch. If you've been on any type of social media, especially this afternoon, uh, news came out that Becky Lynch was set to make a major announcement on Raw tonight. And of course, throughout the course of the day, afternoon, uh, ever, there's been rumors and speculation regarding uh, what that announcement is going to be. And of course, you know, as it went on, uh, more information came out regarding what it was going to be because obviously Raw was taped. And we got some bits and information about it and everyone was, was pretty much able to uh, put together exactly what the announcement was going to be and at that point it was just a matter of fact of her confirming herself and that's what made pretty much everyone excited to see raw so obviously raw comes around and uh becky lynch opens the show she comes out with the money in the bank briefcase which uh, confuses everybody because it's like why would she come out with the briefcase she didn't win it but uh, she comes out with oscar's money in the bank briefcase and she pretty much says that you know what uh she's no longer able to fight which those everyone will be wondering why can't she fight and she pretty much said that she talked to the decision makers in wwe and was able to uh change the money in the bank match from or uh, for being for a contract uh, to being for the Raw Women's Championship. She summons Asuka out. Asuka comes out wondering why she has her briefcase. Becky goes, you know what? I have the code in case you're wondering why you haven't been able to get into the briefcase. Uh, there's no contract inside of it. It's the Raw Women's Championship. Becky opens it. It's a championship. And Becky says, you are the champion. The match was never for the contract. It was always for the championship. Uh, so yeah, just like that, Asuka is your brand new Raw Women's Champion. She's now officially a Grand Slam Champion in WWE. She's won every championship. She's won the Royal Rumble, Money in the Bank. Asuka's pretty much done it all, as you can uh, as a female competitor in WWE. So for anyone that believes that WWE is bearing Asuka, you clearly have not been paying any attention to how they've handled her. But yeah, Asuka celebrates in the best way Asuka possibly can, as if she just won the main event at WrestleMania. Uh, she's going absolutely crazy, going crazy. Best, uh, Be Becky is uh elate for her she's very ecstatic she's very happy she said that you know she's happy that happened to her not anyone else and she says oscar as you go out and be a warrior i'm gonna go and be a mother so becky lynch vacates the robins championship due to her being pregnant and first and foremost huge congratulations to her and seth rollins uh could not be any more happier for those two you know there's no be better joy uh in the world than welcoming a child now obviously i don't have any children so i don't know that feeling but uh, that's what I'll hear from any parent in the world that there's no greater joy than and not only having a child but holding your child in your arm for the very first time uh, there's no greater feeling than that from what I've heard from every single parent so yeah that's that's just absolutely incredible uh, and you know the timing you know I, know, I saw some people say that kind of sucks for the timing for her because she's at the peak of her career but uh, she's not going anywhere it's not like Becky Lynch's name is going to disappear and she'll be irrelevant uh, you know yeah she's at the height of her career you know she's the biggest uh, starting the company right now i'd say her stock's the biggest uh out of anyone in the company right now uh she's been the robins champion for well over a year she's been pretty much been their spokesperson she's been their number one person uh since she got her big push last year and uh it's gonna be a huge hit for the company but obviously it's for uh, for good reasons you know she's pregnant uh bring a, a child into the world uh she said she was due in december so the child will be coming this year so again Huge congratulations for her and Seth Rollins. You know, what Becky Lynch has been able to accomplish in the last year and a half. Definitely cemented herself in the Hall of Fame, if you ask me. You know, from her heel turn at SummerSlam 2018. You know, all the way to, you know, her being punched in the face by Nia Jax. And everyone is rallying behind her uh, from the Royal Rumble last year to WrestleMania 35. And her winning the championship. And just her being the champion for the last year. Uh, just what a ride it's been for her. And obviously, uh, this isn't the end. I'm not going to sit here and act like she's done wrestling. Obviously, for the foreseeable future, she's not going to be competing in the ring. You know, maybe not even for the next year and a half. It's going to be quite a long time uh, if ever we see Becky Lynch back in the ring. Well, I'm pretty confident I'm seeing the ring again. But when, I have no idea. It's going to be a very, very long time. Uh, but, you know, what she's been able to accomplish in the last year and a half before all this uh, definitely cemented her legacy. And, um... Like I said, completely made her a superstar. You know, she definitely went from being someone that was on the roster to being the absolute number one person in the company. So uh, couldn't be any more happy for Becky Lynch. In terms of the state of the women's division with Becky now being gone, the number one person, um, I think they'll survive. I think, you know, Liv Morgan definitely is in line for a huge push. And I think this is a huge opportunity for them to capitalize on her. I think she'd be a great replacement. Well, not, very, not a replacement, but for someone to step up to Becky's spot, I think... Uh, Liv Morgan would definitely be a great candidate for that position. So I definitely think uh, them looking into her to put in that position would be their best interest. But yeah, um, it's, you know, for 
for a personal fan's sake, it's going to suck seeing her gone. But you know what? This goes to show you, you know, never take anyone for granted. We all took Edge for granted, and then he had to retire out of nowhere. We all missed him, and been thankful we have him back now. But Becky Lynch, obviously, you know, I don't think anyone expected this to happen. Even Shayna Baszler loved her promo, by the way, where she says, like, how stupid do you have to be to be knocked up when you're the champion? Like... Even though it's kind of a bitch thing to say, she's completely right. <laughs> it's like, you are got, you do got to be kind of stupid to, uh, you know, get pregnant when you're literally on the top of the world right now. But um, again, like I said, there's nothing against it. You know, that's their personal lives. Wrestling will not be there forever, but, you know, family always will be. And, you know, I couldn't be more happier for them. Very, very happy for those two. Wish them the absolute best as well as her child. And uh, yeah, it's absolutely crazy. Like I said, uh, for a fan's perspective, uh, it sucks because, like I said, selfishly, I want to see Becky around. So her being gone, like I said, for at least, I'd say, a good year and a half. At least in the ring. In the ring, she'll be gone for next year and a half, I would say. Uh, well, maybe just a year because she's due in December. She could, she could actually be back by WrestleMania next year if she really wanted to. Uh, but I wouldn't expect it, but, uh, just for Becky to be gone for like the next year, uh, it's going to be pretty, pretty tough, especially with the women's division when I don't feel like, you know, they really have a lot of, uh, big, strong names in the divisions. Um, I feel like her being gone is definitely is a huge blow, but a uh, huge blessing for Seth Rollins. Again, couldn't be any more happy for them. But like I said, fan perspective, it sucks, but, uh, you know, for personal reasons and for a fan too, I'm very happy for her uh, as a fan, but. Uh, for a wrestling fan and me, I'm very, very uh, disappointed to see her be gone. But yeah, like I said, could not be any more happier for Seth Rollins, Becky Lynch. Uh, uh, wishing, you know, them all the best. And um, yeah, a huge, huge surprise. But, you know, like I said, could not be any more happier for them. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, please feel free to like below. And of course, next time, I'll see you guys later. Thank you guys for watching the video.